Good day, my beautiful, phenomenal people. Dawn Spirit here. Peace, peace, peace. So, I wanted to share with you um, my knowledge and my beliefs and my teachings pertain to past life experiences. Um, and what happens into the future when we transcend to the next level. So, and that's what made me think about this more than anything is Nipsey Hussle. That's all I have been hearing about and thinking about since March the 31st, 2019, when he was murdered in front of his place of business, in front of one of his hugest accomplishments, of the many accomplishments that he has achieved, and I first want to send positive love and healing condolences and prayers to Lord London, his children, his family, all his loved ones and dear friends. I can't imagine what Lauren is feeling right now because I truly know from my heart that was, they were soulmates. They were a beautiful couple with beautiful hearts inside and out. And they bless many hearts and many lives. And I just ask God, the universe and angels and spirit guides to guide and bless and protect her heart from any negativity that may be thrown her way in dealing with this, her, the loss of her soulmate. I can't imagine it. I don't want to imagine it. However, the brighter side of it is that in me becoming a past life regression therapist is that, and I first started learning about this through, um, Dolores Cannon. Look up her videos. She has some phenomenal teachings, but I got my certification through Karen Wells. And in doing so, what I found out is that basically our life is this pyramid, okay? And the earth is the bottom of the pyramid, okay? Where the fish, say, say we put a pyramid in a ocean and the ocean comes to halfway of the pyramid and the, the top of it is in the air outside the water. The bottom is submerged in the water in the ocean. Well, the bottom part is where the um, lobster, shrimp, scavengers and everything, you know, feed at and live at. That's earth. And then after that, each level is the spiritual levels that we live on. That is what our life is. That is what we are about. That is the life from the huge soul that we come from because we have, we all have many lives. Okay. And before we come on to, into this earth, because there are other planets, however, they're afraid of us. That's why we don't see them. The government knows about them, but that's why we don't see them. And what has happened is, what happens is when we die, when in the vessel that we are currently in, we die, we go back to the universe. We go back to God and God's e-board members. God, Allah, who, Jehovah, whoever you, whoever you worship, the universe, we go back and they show us all the things we've been through in that past life, the last life, how we've hurt others how they felt, what they experienced, and when we didn't even really pay attention. Um, but everything we experience through their life, we go back and we see that. It's like a recording. And then what we didn't balance out in that past life, we get choices to fill, fulfill that karmic relationship in the next life. So what they do is they give you packages. They give you packages to choose from. And it's a lesson to everyone involved. The earth is a test, okay? So whatever we get to pick what world we want to come back to, there are certain bonuses and certain things to each life that you may go to. Um, and whatever that life is we choose, there's a lesson. That's everybody, everybody. 
There's people that have abortions. This is what happens to the child that is aborted. This is happening to people that are handicapped. Every life has a package and we make a deal with God in the universe on how it's going to teach a lesson to those involved. And the phenomenal, wonderful king that Mr. Hustle, Nips, the Nipsey Hustle was, he knew before he came to this earth that he was going to die at such a young age. And as much as it hurts us, it hurts me to the core because even though I know this knowledge, it still hurts me because there's still entities out there that don't want certain people to succeed in life for fear. Fear could be a very deadly, deadly feeling or entity. And as we saw that on March the 31st, 2019, so what I'm saying to you is that he is not in pain. He's, he wants us to embrace him um, and, and remember his memories and embrace London and his family and in this time in need. However, he wants us, this situation that has happened to us is supposed to bring us all closer together as one, to be more loving and caring as one and realizing instead of hating on one another, regardless what your color, creed, or your situation is, it's not worth it. We are put on this earth to love, not to hate, not to be jealous, not to kill. We're put on this earth to love and nurture and move forward from that. This earth needs so much healing. It's unbelievable. There's no hell when we die. Hell is here, right here on earth. But the wonderful thing about earth is that we have free will to manifest what we want. A lot of times we manifest what we don't want because we put more energy in what we don't want. And that's how the universe manifests what we don't want because we focus more on what we don't have and what we want and the scarcity of not having it. So moving forward, I asking you all to light a candle or say a prayer for Lauren London and and um, Nipsey's family and friends and children, his children, and that we embrace our own children and loved ones and family members and tell them how much we love them and embedding them not to be jealous, not to be hateful, not to hate, not to say negative words to one another, but to embrace one another with kindness. Open a door for someone, hold a door for someone, pay someone's toll if you're ahead of them if you can. Pay for somebody's coffee ahead of you. Let's pay forward. How about paying forward instead of just focusing on how we can get ahead of the next person? How about focusing on being the best person that you will put on this earth to be within yourself without competing with anyone else? You should not be competing with anyone. You, the only individual you should be competing with is yourself, and that is being the best person that you were put on this earth to be. Not to be hateful, not to cut someone off, not to cut someone off and not put their signals on or run inside a building and not hold the door so you uh, running the door fast so you don't have to hold the door for them. Hold the door for someone. Be kind. If someone wants to get out of a parking space or a parking lot, let them out. Let them out. Because that energy you put forward to that person to help them is going to come back to you. I promise you. If you change your way of thinking and be kinder to people, not saying being taken advantage of because there's some people that still need healing. However, the energy you put out is the energy you get back. Remember that. No matter what kind of energy it is, it can be negative, it can be positive, it can be in between. Whatever you focus on. If you have road rage, you're going to receive road rage. Okay? If you hang up on somebody, you're going to get hung up on. Especially in this dimension because this dimension is so much faster than what it was before. And I'm just asking you all that we have to be kinder to each other and stop thinking somebody's always out to get us. Because if we focus and think that somebody's always out to get us, they're going to be out there to get us. They're going to be out there to take advantage of us because we're focusing on it. If you focus on the, the negativity of not having money or the negativity of debt or the negative, any kind of negativity, you're going to bring that into your world. You know, um, I just want to leave you guys with this word, these words of wisdom that it first starts with loving yourself. When you learn to love yourself, 
you'll learn to love others as well. And my husband just came home from out of the garage. He's got his music blasting and he doesn't know I'm recording. So I'm going to close the door. Give me one second. I'm coming right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I have since, um, lately, I've gotten my Reiki 2 certification, um, um, which is called Holy Fire 3, which has made me even more sensitive, which has opened up my third eye on another level that I couldn't imagine that I could get even more sensitive and spiritually powerful. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for knowing who I am. I grew up in spirituality since I was a child, a small child. But these past few years, my eyes have opened up to so many levels that I didn't even know it was out there. That's the wonderful thing about spirituality is that you learn so many things. Every day is a learning experience. The world is a classroom. You know, and... Just remember, hurt people hurt people. If someone feeds you negative energy, it's because they're hurt. It's because they don't know any better. They really don't. And they're a product of their own environment. Some people can take it negatively, take it one direction. Some people could take it in the positive direction. I didn't have a perfect childhood. But then again, after thinking, I had a really great childhood because I had great grandparents. I had great parents. However, some things may have happened to me against my will that I didn't appreciate it. But I now embrace it because it made me the woman that I am today where I can heal others. I am a natural born healer. And I embrace that. I love helping people. You know, but I had to learn to love myself first in order to help them the right way. So moving forward, I'm asking you all today and tonight to give prayers to Nipsey Hussle and his family in the hand. He's happy. When he went to the other side, his spirit guides were waiting for him and took him. They took him and they navigated him where he needed to go to let him know that he has left this physical form, this level, this spiritual level. And he's happier than we are. Believe you me. But that's not going to stop us missing him. But what we can do in honor of missing him is putting forward good things to others and loving ourselves and, and embracing our community and continue to invest in our community. It could be your time. Even if you don't have money, you can invest your time, your knowledge, your care. Remember that. I want to send you in closing. I want to send you all love, joy, happiness, and peace and prosperity. I'm sending you healing vibrations and energies. And I'm sending you my symbol, my symbol to help heal you all with positive energy and forces. And anyone that looks at this video, may they receive my holy Reiki fire energies. I say, I say, I say, I say, Sabota B, Sabota B, Sabota B. Dawn Spirit here. Peace out. Much love to you guys. And I really do love you. And know that. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. And if you haven't already subscribed, tap down below. Hit the notification button. If not, that's fine. Share this video. I'm about it to share information and knowledge. Because we need to wake up. It's time to wake up. You heard the bell? It's time to wake up. Bye, guys.